everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts to say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we have a special adventure. It's the Nutcracker. Maybe you've heard of it or seen it in a book. Maybe you've heard the music or even seen the ballet. Well, our story begins on Christmas Eve at Clara's house. So let's begin in our house pose. Coming all the way up to stand, taking our feet nice and wide, arms wide, hands up above our head. Oh, it's so lovely and Christmassy. Let's smell all the delicious scents, breathing in through our nose. Oh, ginger and cinnamon, cloves, chocolate and orange. Lowering our hands, jumping our feet together. Clara's parents are hosting a party and the Christmas tree is looking fantastic. Let's do our tree pose. Bringing one foot on top of the other, using our heel, our toes for balance, our hands together at our hearts. We grow, 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 grow up nice and tall. Can we open those branches wide and use our fingers to add a little extra sparkle? Very good, everyone. Now I wonder how strong you Christmas trees are today. You stay tall and strong in your Christmas tree pose. I'm going to come and try and blow you down. Here I come. Doopy doopy doo. -do -do. <sighs> wow, you are super strong and very sparkly. I wonder if you can do your tree pose on the other side. Let's try. Bringing our other foot on top now, using our heel, our toes for balance, so our knee goes out to the side. Our hands together at our hearts. We grow, 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 grow up nice and tall. Open those branches wide and sparkle those fingers. Amazing. Clara's little brother, Fritz, is just adding the finishing touches to the Christmas tree. Some sparkly, twinkly stars. Let's do our star pose. Taking our feet out wide, stretching our arms wide in our wonderful sparkly star pose. And look, the candles are lit. Let's do our candle pose. Coming to lie on our backs, we take our arms out wide and lift our legs up to the sky using our toes to twinkle like they're the flickering lights of the candle flames. But where is Uncle Drosselmeyer, Clara's godfather? He should be here by now. Uncle Drosselmeyer is a toy maker, so he's bringing some rather special presents. The clock strikes eight, and there's a knock at the door. Let's open it, coming into door pose. Up onto two knees, everyone. We take our leg to the side, arm to the sky, and we lean over to the side as we go, Ooh. It's Uncle Drosselmeyer. He's here. Let's close the door behind him. Two knees together, leg to the side, arm to the sky, and Ooh. Uncle Drosselmeyer has bought some wonderful presents for the children and Clara. Let's open them, sitting on our bottoms, drawing the soles of our feet together, knees out wide, we hold our ankles and we fold our heads all the way forwards. Now, after three, let's lift up our heads as we open the boxes. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Wow! Four wonderful, very lifelike dolls get out of the boxes and they dance to the march music. Let's come up to stand and march with them. Very good, everyone. Uncle Drosselmeyer has one more present to give. It's a wooden nutcracker carved in the shape of a little man. Let's do our nutcracker pose. Bringing our feet together, arms down by our side, standing very tall and very strong. 
Clara loves it and is excited to try it. Crossing our arms, holding our opposite elbows, she opens the nutcracker's mouth, lifting our arms up above our head. She puts inside a little almond, then she closes the mouth with a crunch. It works, and Clara has a delicious little almond. Next, it's Fritz's turn. He opens the mouth, lifting our arms again all the way above our heads. He squishes in a rather large walnut. Then he goes crack. Oh no, it breaks. Clara is heartbroken. But Uncle Drosselmeyer, the magic mountain man that he is, standing with our feet hip distance, arms down by our side, he promises that he will fix it. So Clara and Fritz go to bed. But Clara can't sleep. Coming to lie on our backs, everyone. Arms out to the sides, lifting up our legs, bending our knees. She tosses one way, taking our knees over one side and our head over the other. She tosses the other way, lifting our knees all the way up, taking them the other side and our head to the other side. She keeps worrying about the nutcracker downstairs. Hmm, this will never do. So she gets up, coming up to stand, everyone. She tiptoes down the stairs. Shh, 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 shh. And she reaches the nutcracker just as the clock strikes 12. Bringing our feet together, reaching our arms all the way above our head. Bong! And something rather strange begins to happen. The Christmas tree begins to grow into a giant Christmas tree. Let's do our tree pose. Bringing our foot one on top of the other, using our heel, hands together. We grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Goodness me, what's happening? We're enormous. Oh, I'm not sure about this. No, this will never do. We can't do yoga if we're this big. I think we need to go back to our normal size again. Coming back up into our tree pose, all the way up. Ooh. Oh, thank goodness for that. Lowering our arms and our feet. And the mice under the stairs. Let's come into our mouse pose. Down onto our knees, untucking our toes. We fold all the way forwards. They begin to grow bigger and bigger, and bigger, and bigger, till they become giant mice. Oh dear, now I'm taking up quite a lot of room in my mouse pose. I think we need to shrink back again. Ooh. Oh, goodness me, coming all the way up to sit. One of the mice is wearing a crown on his head. Let's do our crown pose. Sitting up tall, we join our wrists together, our little fingers together and our thumbs together. Stretching our fingers up tall, we reach our arms up and pop it on our head. He's a rather scary looking mouse. And look, the toys and the nutcracker, they were small before. Coming down with our hands, tucking our toes, coming into a little crouch position. They begin to grow, lifting our hips bigger and bigger, rolling all the way up our spine, bigger and bigger, and our head and neck to come up last. Goodness me, the mice are as big as dinosaurs. They declare war on the toys and the nutcracker, and they clomp and stomp all over them. Let's do our dinosaur mouse stomping, jumping our feet wide, folding all the way forwards to grab our ankles. We lift and lower our feet as we go, clump, clump. Clump, clumpity clump, clump, clump. Rolling up to stand, the toys and the nutcracker draw their swords, turning to face the side with our toes, bending into our front knee, reaching our arms up high and stretching our arms wide. They charge at the mice, charge. Then they charge the other way, jumping our feet to face the other side and charge again, charge. But it's no good, the mice are just too strong. So Clara thinks quickly. She stands up nice and tall, 
reaches her arm up and she takes hold of her foot behind her, drawing her heel towards her bottom. She scoops off her slipper, steps all the way back, big step, and reaches her arms up above her head, taking aim with her slipper at the Mouse King. She throws it all the way forwards, taking our hands down either side of our front foot. And the Mouse King lands on the ground with a thud. Coming all the way back up, turning to face the front. Goodness me. Now a strange, swirling snowflake magic begins. Taking our arms wide, we swish and we sway all around and around. It's magical. But what's happening? The Nutcracker, who was a toy, is transformed into a prince. Lowering our hands, jumping our feet together. He bows to Clara, folding all the way forwards and all the way back up. He thanks Clara for saving his life, for lifting the curse that was placed on him by the Mouse King. A sleigh arrives pulled by reindeers and at the reins is Uncle Drosselmeyer. Let's do our sleigh pose. Coming to lie on our tummies, everyone. We bring our feet towards our bottoms and we reach round to see if we can grab our ankles. Now, as we breathe in, we lift up our chests. Ready? Kicking our feet into our hands. Wow, in our sleigh pose. The prince invites Clara to come to his kingdom to reward and say thank you for saving his life. Clara is delighted. Coming up to sit with our legs crossed. Clara and the prince get on board the sleigh and they whiz through the pine forest in the light of the silvery moon as the snowflakes pitter-patter all around, using our fingers to pitter-patter on our faces, our heads, all the way down our chests, our bodies, our backs, our legs, our arms, and the other one. The prince's kingdom is the land of sweets. Clara arrives in a great room where she sits on a honeycomb throne. Let's come up to stand and do our throne pose. Taking our feet hip distance, bending our knees, we sweep our arms up above our heads. As a thank you to Clara, a wonderful show begins, a celebration of sweets from around the world. First, it's the chocolate from Spain. Coming all the way up to stand, they do a wonderful flamenco dance. Let's do our flamenco pose. Coming to stand proud and tall, we bring one toe in front of the other, high on our toe, and we whisk our hand up above our head using our fingers like a fan. We take our other hand behind our back and we stand tall and proud, just like a flamenco dancer. Very good, everyone. Next, it's coffee from Arabia, and we hear the melody of a snake charmer. Let's do our snake pose. Coming to lie on our tummies, hands under our shoulders. We wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all the way up as we go just like a snake. Very good. Next, it's the tea from China. Let's come up to stand, everyone, and do our teapot pose to pour the tea. Feet together, toes out wide, hands on hip, hand to the side to make our spout. We bend our knees and we tilt all the way over one way and all the way back up. Let's try it on the other side. Hand on our hip, hand to the side, tilt all the way over one way and all the way back up. Very good. Straightening our legs. Next, it's the candy canes from Russia and they have the longest, strongest, straightest legs. Hands on our hips, we lift up one leg, try not to wobble. Now can we whoop, stretch it out? Very good, everyone, and lower it down. Excellent, strong legs for this one. Let's try the other side. Lift up our leg, oh, try not to wobble. And then stretching out our leg, keep it there, hold it strong, and lower it back down. Excellent work, everyone. Wow. Next come the Danish shepherdesses. Look at their beautiful tutus. They play the flute. Let's do our flute pose. 
crossing one foot over the other, using our toe, bringing up our hands to play the notes, and let's use our mouth to blow. Let's try it on the other side. Uncrossing our legs, we cross the other way now and bring up our hands the other way, using our fingers to play the notes. And let's do another nice blow. Very good, everyone. Lowering our hands and uncrossing our feet. Next to come on is Mother Ginger with the most enormous wide skirt. Let's jump our feet wide, take our toes out wide and bend deep into our goddess pose, just like Mother Ginger. Mother Ginger comes to a stop and then to everyone's delight, from out beneath her huge hoop skirt, skip lots of little children, jumping our feet together and skip, skip, skippity skip, 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 skippity skip, yay! Well done, everyone. Clara is loving this show, but next it gets even more beautiful when the flowers come on in full bloom, twirling and swirling as they dance the waltz, jumping our feet wide, arms wide. Let's twirl and swirl. Wow, it's amazing. They twirl so fast, spinning around and around, faster and faster. Clara feels rather dizzy, but it's so beautiful, so colourful, and it smells amazing. Coming to stop, bringing our feet back together. And so to the final dance, the Sugar Plum Fairy. All the time the prince has been away, the Sugar Plum Fairy has looked after the Land of Sweets. So she is very grateful to Clara for bringing the prince back. Let's do our dance a pose for the Sugar Plum Fairy. Coming to stand tall, we reach our arm up, take our hand to the side, and we see if we can grab our foot behind us. We root down into our standing foot as we kick our foot into our hand behind us doing our very best to stay strong and poised like the Sugar Plum Fairy and coming all the way back to stand. Let's try it on the other side. Reaching our arm up again on the other side, our hand to the side, catching hold of our foot behind us. We kick, kick, kick our foot into our hand. Keep kicking, keeping a little focus on a spot in front of us as we come into our dancer pose on the other side. Coming back to stand. She is so beautiful. She comes up high onto her tippy toes. Let's see if we can come up onto ours. And she reaches her arms above her head. Then she turns in a tiny little circle on her tippy toes. She looks like she's on top of a music box. Wow, it's so beautiful. And so the show comes to an end. Clara must return home. The sun is dawning on Christmas morning. Let's reach our arms up to the sun, wave at the sun and say, hello, sun. Clara sighs, lowering her arms. <sighs> she wishes this adventure would never end. On Christmas morning, Clara is sleeping beneath the Christmas tree, coming to lie on our sides, using our arm for support under our head. Her arm is wrapped around her nutcracker, who is a toy once more. Let's take a moment now to enjoy some relaxation. Let's lie on our backs, taking our legs out long, our arms down by our sides. Our bodies sink heavy into the ground. We take a breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. We can feel our hearts beating, but getting slower and calmer, enjoying some peace and calm after such an adventure. There's so much in the Nutcracker, so much energy and fun. And at the end, it's nice just to lie back and let everything go. Perhaps it was Uncle Drosselmeyer's magic 
that took Clara on her adventure? Maybe it was Clara's magic, her own imagination, her dream. She made it happen. In the end, Clara realised she had everything she needed inside herself to perhaps make that dream come true. And everything was so magical to her. It meant so much. Sometimes we need to use our imaginations. Let them run free. Play. Let in the sparkle and the magic. We'll learn something about ourselves. Something that will be with us for the rest of our lives. Slowly now we begin to wake up. Wiggling our toes, wiggling our fingers, and hugging our knees into our chest. We roll over onto our sides, opening up our eyes to come up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts to finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow. Well done, everyone. And I hope you have the most wonderful holidays. It's been a fantastic adventure doing the Nutcracker with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye.